Brazilian players are world famous for their showmanship and amazing technique. But the Panagenia, literally little stop or stutter kick, is something a bit more controversial. Even so, this style of penalty taking has become a trademark for many forwards in Brazil. My parents were here for my first penalty in the Vila Belmiro as a pro, and they knew that I took penalties with the Paradinha ever since the junior team. But then I thought to myself, it's my first penalty, and I'm going to take a solid shot, maybe in the second game. Then I had a chance in the derby with Rogério Ceni in goal. As soon as I picked up the ball, I decided I would do it. Sam Paulo's experienced Rogério Ceni knows all about stopping penalties as well as taking them. He was made to look at mug by Santos's 18-year-old prodigy, Neymar. I told him to take advantage because this is only permitted in Brazil. Seni has also used a Paradinha to help put away some of his 39 goals from the spot kick. Atletico Paranaense man Alain Bahia is famed for turning the move into an art. But even in Brazil, where the subject kick is widely used, some players can take it a little too far. Fluminense's Fred is another forward who's also tried it. But the ex-Brazil man doesn't look comfortable. And last week in the Copa de Brazil against Minos Confianza, he tried to do something new, but ended up skying the chance. I did it and the keeper just stood still. I picked the corner and missed. The rules regarding the Paradinha are unclear, and the technique is often seen as against the spirit of the game. In 2008, Almeiras faced Argentina juniors in the Copa Sulamericana, and when Diego Souza made the move before scoring, Colombian referee Rose Bertrago not only disallowed the goal, he also put the midfielder. Souza then missed the retake. No one is exactly sure when the Paradinha was first used. Some say the roots of the move go back to the King Pelé, who would often slow down his pace before striking the penalty. Another top striker, Pomario, also used a similar technique. Even amongst the professionals, opinions are divided. If the official lets it stand and the rules say you can, I can do it. A type of Paladinia has also been used from dead ball situations. Like this one from Corinthians legend Marcelinho Carioca in 2003. But this method of penalty taking is far from foolproof. I think that everything goes when it comes to scoring a goal. When you have the ability of doing it and scoring, you should do it. I don't know if it's a sporting thing to do and don't think it's legal. Always controversial, the matter has been brought to the attention of the world's football authorities. And on March the 6th, FIFA is set to rule on the issue. That could spell the end of the Paraginha. Or it might mean that we could see the move all over the world.